Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my left, the reigning king who's running the ladder, Steve Spingola. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you. And to my right, who is no stranger to King of the Palace or any tournament anywhere ever, Mr. Too Tough Phil Clough. Welcome, Phil. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the match? I just do the best I can and uh, hope I end up on top. Awesome. And uh, what are your thoughts about bowling against this legend? Uh, should be a great match. I've seen Phil bowl plenty, and uh, it's definitely a good competitor, so it should be great. Well, good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Phil Clough opening up. Excellent first ball delivery. Leaves the 10 pin. Shooting for a spare. No wood. Up. Phil Clough, the Cluffinator. He is, like, by far one of the greatest guys in this, in this game. Absolutely. No, no doubt about it. He's got a tall task against the reigning champ, Mr. Steve Spingola. Opened up with a 10 box, narrowly missing the 10 for a spare. I'm actually kind of liking this Facebook Live stuff. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I've never done it before. Found the head pin again, and look at this mess. I was bowling with Phil in uh, the roll-off. He was on the same lane as me, and he was just explosive. Right off the get-go, double hammer. Yep. Phil, too tough puff. Alley four. He's got to find his, his groove. Yeah, he's got to find his niche. Oh. This, is, this is one guy that can light it up at any point in time. Yeah. Oh, off. Trying to play the wood. Okay, opens up for the 10 and the 9 and 19. Up now the reigning champ, Mr. Steve Spingola. His high single is a 182, his high trip is a 486. His league highest average, 121. First ball delivery. Oh, look at that. Ash. Look at it. He drops 9 and leads to 10. Both bowlers, Dennis, opened up. Leaving the ten ball, excuse me, leaving the ten pin for a spare. The corner of the building shot, very difficult, but I don't like this wood. I probably play the, play the tip of it, but we'll see where it uh, ends up. It's not stopping. It's still by the rules of candle pin yeah. bowling, Dennis. You got to wait. For you got to wait now. because I mean, if you go when this ball is that pin is still rolling, anything is possible. Yep. So why do you think they made that rule then? Because if you throw your ball down, the pin's moving. You're gonna, yeah. you might miss. So you, you, you'd rather wait. There you go. Oh, you what if you don't want to wait? Well, you have to wait. Well, I know it's the rule. Yeah. And 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 I know there's like a lot of talk out there in, in Facebook land about getting rid of the lob line. Hey. Yeah, you know. Wait, broke. Don't fix it. Don't fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but still, what's it there for? Because you can't throw the ball. It's to maintain the lanes. What's the base? That's why they started that. Is that absolutely the right and true answer? That's what I, have I was no told. Idea. It was to maintain the lanes. That way they can, uh, if they had to replace it, they don't have to replace the whole lane. Uh, alley, just to, that front portion of it. Well, that takes a few seconds. Oh, oh nice beautiful pickup. Made the rear road split. The 710. The boot opens up with a double mark, puts the pressure right on the Cluffinator right from the beginning. That's all right, if anybody can handle it. So. Oh, it's Phil. oh, yeah, Phil doesn't get rattled at all. No. Wide left. Got a break. Got a break. He's left the one, the three, the six, the nine. Throws the strike ball. And should get the spare. Difficult spare, but see what happens. Nope. Uh, just a little bit off. Yeah, he's a little bit off. He's, he's got to find, find it. Yeah, he's got to find it. Dennis, quickly getting back to that. You really, you know, I never thought about that about the log line. Mm -hmm. But if there's other sports, is there a log line that you not believe? Well, I don't want to bring it up again. There is no log line in Texas. There isn't. I was no. just going to ask. Him. Because it's not real bowling. And it, but there's no law blind in my cup. I've never either. bowled. I can't, yeah. I can't comment on that. Yeah. I do want to try that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but who can really lob a 10 pin ball? Just saying. Well, you, if you watch the ball, some of them do because they, they get it out there to get that hook in it. 
So, you know, it's just, but the synthetic lanes can take more of abuse than, yeah. than the wooden yeah. lanes. That's why I think a lot of oh. people are switching to synthetic. More expensive, uh, David, to have synthetic than the regular wood? Oh, very expensive. Oh, yeah. But well, like less double the cost? Less maintain, maintenance, so it's kind of. It, it, it pays for itself in the long run. Yes. But you also have to have that capital to actually do it because yes. it takes a lot. You have to plane the alleys down so there's no varnish, no nothing on them. They're just plain wood. Wood. And then I think they uh, glue them. Glue. I think they the glue them down and screw them down. Oh really? And the ball, your ball reacts differently as well. Oh so. yes, I've done it. I have both on. It sounds like it's on. The, your ball sounds like it's on glass. Yeah. Yeah. You don't hear the ball. I when I remember <coughs> doing that, it's it's up near your neck of the woods. Things. Addies, Leos. Leo Super Bowl. Yeah, that's yeah. where I went. Yeah. He couldn't hear the ball hit the wing. Yeah. And I dropped it. I couldn't hear it. That's a nice aim for Three in a row. He made the mongo. Excellent. Can't open the room. Talk about putting the pressure on. Three in a row. He's got a turn. Again, I'd like to give a shout out to um, like Friday Night Pro Team's new home, Beverly Bolomat, Beverly Mass. They are actually old fashioned lanes just like here. No synthetic. Um, you, I love the smell when you walk in there. You know what I'm talking about? That, that old fashioned smell. And yep. just like, ah. I love that smell in there. Yeah, you gotta um, you gotta appreciate the old houses. Yes. No f no frills, no nothing. Just straight up Canlipin bowling. They do have an updated go scoring system like they do in Malden, but the lanes themselves are still old fashioned, which I love. <coughs> just stop right there. You wanted yeah, to get he the mark. Blew he right by that. No, no, Picked it up for right the 10. So after four, Steve Spingola at 62, Phil Clough at 44. 18 pin lead for the champ over the legend. Dennis, if you, if, you know how your partner is, Steve, is always thinking, concentrating, and focusing on Canopy. I do. What do you think would happen if we enlarged the ball diameter? It would be, more, it would more be duct score? No, between, not the, all the way to duct pin, maybe halfway to it. You think we'd have higher score? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh that's, not, that's not even a question. Phil Clough actually came in fourth in the Twin City Challenge. Nice. So, he did some great bowling. Twin City Challenge is between bowlers and Pittsburgh and Lemons that took place last Exactly, month. It's, it's for everybody. Right. You know, all houses that want, anybody that wants to bowl at Canlipin, it was 10 string scratch. Great event to put on by myself. Oh, it was it. Sorry. I, follow, I followed it closely and I wish I could do it sometime, but with my work schedule, I work two jobs and I'm an hour and a half away, I'm 15 away. Ten, there, so. ten, ten strings, and then you follow it up with ten. Minutes. Yeah, it was five here, five there, or five there, five here, and then the ten were, the finals were here, the A's and the B's were over at Mason's. So next year we'll be doing that one again, so stay tuned for next season for the third, fourth annual. I spilled throws a seven box for a 60 at Twin six. City Challenge. And I always said, you want to be a better bowler, bowl at a tougher house like Mason. Yep. You know, uh, the old Candlewood before it closed. Yep. Because if you can bowl well there. <laughs> Where was the Candlewood? What's that? Where was the Candlewood? North right. They closed. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, boy. He's left the five and the six. Where are you going, Dennis? David? Oh, oh, right between them. Oh, <laughs> hang on. I played to the right. Right yep. of that front pin. Yeah. Let's see if I can't yeah. split it. Oh. 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 The wow. bowling guards are here. I, that's it. He looked up into the sky. I saw the champ. He did it. Completely missed the object and got a little luck. Okay. Let's Another tough house, and I love bowling there, is Riverwalk. Yep. Mark oh. Ritchie, classic handle pins, tape there, and I, just, I love bowling it. I, you know, some people can't stand it because they say it's too tough, but I, I enjoy it. Filled the spade with a six. He's As Mark Ritchie says, bowl better. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a tough time bowling on um, synthetic lanes with um, synthetic balls. So they have the the urethane balls and they don't react very well. You know to that? I, and I li like my old Paramount house balls. Yeah, I don't like the half half it. Yeah, either but go like, full or just leave it the way it is. You know? But like I can understand why they leave that why, why they do only half because half what the ha half the alley. Uh, 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 synthetic, synthetic, because they usually every, usually they do the front half because that's where it takes the feed. Feeding, yeah. You, well, why even bother with the rest? Of it? Because it's consistency. Oh, consistency okay, yeah, on your yeah, ball. The ball has to be all there. So after six, Steve Spingola at eighty-seven. Hey, here's one sixty, though, Dennis. 
Who's the only bullet we've ever had in the show? When he's dropped the ball, we didn't hear it. It's your friend. Drop the ball, you don't hear it. I, I know a couple of people that do that. Ooh, yeah. wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. I never heard it until we told on the show. Oh, John Stana. It's done, right? Yeah, John Stana. It yeah. was absolutely good. First time I've ever heard that. There's quite a ball. few bowlers that throw that yeah, ball John, you don't hear. Yeah, John Stana's very consistent like that, though. You rarely ever hear his ball touch the ground. Yeah. It's amazing. Phil's to been, me. Phil Clough's been bowling for 54 years. His high singles are 206. His high trips are 466. His league highest average is a 114. He bowls out of bogey lanes. Uh, his favorite shot is a one pin with wood. And his least favorite shot is Steve's nightmare. The spread eagle as a 10 does not want to fall. Now, you think that the 10 would have fallen for the guy. He hasn't got a match. Well, he, he, the other two pins did go, yeah. but that 10 pin did more. I don't like this wood, though. No. Oh, oh there you go. That. nice spare. He needed that. That was his first one of the match. Well, if he marks out and the champ has a couple opens of. Yeah, the champ's got four marks to his one already, so. Well, Phil, Phil can throw 130s and 140s. Oh, I had to drop like nine. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, half was to half, left. Half was to left. Opens the or door. Or as I call it, the new palace. Hey, now. Got to the strike ball to get the spare. Oh. Again, thank you to all the subscribers on YouTube. 412, you surpassed my expectations, and I thank you for that. Keep I'd, like, the I'd like to see 500 by the beginning of the season and 600 by the end. I said that. I said I want 600 by the end of the next season. Oh. And yeah. if you're watching, let us know where you're watching from, who you're watching with, and if you are sharing it. The more views, the more noise you make, the, the, the louder splash we do. And whoever's watching it, have them subscribe. That way they can enjoy it on their own. One's uploaded, oh, they'll be the head pin, And there nice. it goes. Hammer. What a hammer. And the best thing about it is if you have a smart TV, you can actually watch it on your big screen TV. Absolutely. Oh boy, has got his work cut off. Yeah, after eight, Steve Spigola at 106 working on a strike. Bill Clough at 79 working on a spin. Oh, Very got a rare for Phil. He's got a mock out. That's all he has to do. Well, it's match one, so. Oh, look wow, at this. Wow, he's not getting any breaks Dennis, at all. Dennis, did you just see what I yeah, saw, I people? The seventh pin moved, maybe half an inch off its spot, and it never fell down. Oh, oh happens. Caleb and Bowling. Oh, I was just not I, getting any I, luck. No, he's, uh, he's not getting any action. David, you think that can happen in 10 pin? A 10 pin spin like that? I have no idea. And reset itself? I, uh, You know, off its Steve, spot? I I consider 10 pin not bowling. That's even right, people I know, do yeah, I know. Consider I, know. Bowling, I agree, so, I I mean, agree with you on that. But I'm just, wow. you know, I'm always, Thinking about things and focusing and concentrating on Caleb and Bowen. Sometimes I steer in the other direction, be it, albeit. Don't, don't stare off the cliff, though. No, 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 no. Just think. Only when there's a spread eagle. You think they have spread eagles in 10 pin? No, can't have them. I checked it out. Physically. He's just off. Physically. He's putting the ball where it needs to go. It's just he's not getting that action off. He, Phil usually throws the ball with like a slight little curve onto it. Yeah. And he's not getting that break. And when he does get it, it's a little bit too late. There nice pick up. That now he needs a strike. It looks like he's not getting down like uh, enough like he normally does. Well, I know I know he's uh, laboring a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I think we get, if he throws a hammer here, we'll put him in a good bowling mode for string number two, hopefully. Well, he definitely needs a hammer. He's got a, he's got a lot of pins to make up. Yeah. Box to box, he's down 20 seconds. So. Shout out to our sponsor, North End Miles Subaru and Lubang Mass. Visit buynorthend.com. Stop by and visit our friends Marty and his excellent sales staff on the newer used uh, certified Mazda Subaru. Yeah, a good, a good friend, Marty Babino, up there in Route 13 in Lunenburg. Phil finishes with a 108 string. How many Very rarely do you see Phil throw a 108 string. Yeah, he only, only had two, two spears. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was just a rough off. start. It's all right. I have faith in Phil. Oh yeah. That's why he's too tough to cloth. Back throw 160 like it was nothing. If he's hurting, he won't tell you. Nope. Steve Spangolo up on the strike lane number three. Oh, he thought he had perfect pocket ball hit. Le leaves the, what do we got, Dennis, the four eight? Yes. Yeah. Piece of wood in between them. I don't know. I'm Just touch the four and it goes. Yeah, sure. Oh, nice pickup. Oh, boy, he's salt in this one. That's so why he is the returning three. champion. Six marks out of nine marks. Excellent. Right? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Unbelievable. So you call it, Dennis. When he gets on, he's on. Yeah, he's explosive. But that's what I, my point. When you fall out of a tough house Let's and you come to a, a normal house like this, it, it's so much easier on you. Yep, I agree with that 100%.
fills it with a six. He's left the the two, the four, the seven, six. Oh, he just missed it. He's gonna go 140 something. Boy, he cranks that ball up and he I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, waiting in the wings is the number one seed. He, he wins it very too, right? he's very interested in this one. Absolutely. Yeah. To see who he's gonna be facing. So uh, after one, Steve Spingola at 140, Bill Clough at 108. Okay, here we go. String number two, box number one. Lane number three, first ball delivered. Oh, right, right. Off in the ocean, but he's getting he, a break. Oh, look at this. Well, he throws that ball real hard. What do you think? Is it, once again, people throwing the ball 60 feet from the lob, lob line, foul line. Oh, head pin. up. You're throwing 41 miles an hour. You're going to hit contact in one second. Opens up with a spin. A spin. What do you think, Dennis David, is our fastest thrower? Oh, jeez, I show. have no idea. I got to go with uh, Billy Plumber, I think, right? I have a back cannon. I, I throw fast myself normally. Uh, Dave Godwin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he throws a nice quick ball. Oh, look at the this. fastest ball I think I've seen is Sargent. Yes, but not in the show. No. no. On the show, yeah. And you know, we've seen all types. We've seen breaking balls. We've seen backup balls. Yeah, there's a lot of breaking balls around here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's absolutely right on that <laughs> we've one. We've seen everything. Bill Clough really, you know. You have no idea what you're going to walk into until you see the crowd. Absolutely. And then when, and then when you see the, the field and the crowd hanging by, you know what you're in for. No, oh, it's candle pinball. Like you said, Dan. You have Dan. guys walking around with beers on their heads yeah. and crushing beer cans. and. It's the greatest, greatest game in the, to play as a family, no, as you an no individual. Idea. You have no idea. That's right, right. It's candle pinball. That's why we're at like one big, big dysfunctional family. Now, here's another example of people out there bowling. Phil Clough just had six pins up. He hit the object pin, and he takes out a pin on the back, pick a fence, Dennis. Yeah. He takes two out of six. How does it happen? Wow. It doesn't look like I have no he's idea. Just, you know what? The bowling guys just aren't with him right now. Yeah. He, he doesn't you. look like he has a lot of Now he ball. just buries the ball, and he's left the two, the seven, and ten. He talk about frustration. You, you can tell he's not himself because he doesn't have that Phil Clough dive down slide. Right. He's left a 7-10, the railroad split for 10 bucks. It's just, it's just not there. Dennis, you've called it. It's yeah, happened he just to me. has nothing on it's his happened to, It's happened to David. He's putting it where he needs to go. Oh, nice pitch. Just not getting anything yeah. on it. Yeah, well, you can tell he's probably he's probably laboring a little bit. Uh, so and after it, two, Steve Smigolo at 30 working on a strike. Phil Clough at 22. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah, he's cranking it up. He's ready to go. See what happens. Box number three. Wide right. Wow. Takes out five. half. So got another ball. Two, two balls to fill the strike fill. Got to attack the head pin here. Maybe split him. And that's exactly Ooh. what he did. And he got it. Wow. Talk about nice Canada pick up. Bowling. Three straight. Three marks in a row. He's got a turkey. He's opened up with. Unbelievable candle pin bowl, yeah. that's all I can say. He's making a statement, I am the champ. Exactly. What did he get in the string first one? Seven marks out of ten? Six. Yeah. Six. Look at this. Six Little weak to the right, he's left the one, the three, the six, the eight. He's got some wood, he gets this people. He's got what, Dennis? Four marks in a row, is known as? An eagle. An eagle. Very makeable, he's got some helpful wood back and there. Oh, he just tipped the head. Just head. missed it. Yeah, it was way too thin on that. Dang it. Ooh. Ten. Boy, he's going to that. Phil's got some work to do. Yeah. Phil's going to be some marks. Yeah. Gradually getting out of each other. I, I think, I think oh, once oh. he uh, starts marking, I think he'll be, he'll be all right. Oh, yeah. he's got the head pin this time. Wow. This. He's he is not, not getting, getting extra. any breaks. You think the seven pin would fall down for the ball? But Normally, the it piece would. of wood hits it, it rocks it, and then what does yeah. it do? Normally, it, it would go up. for him, but it's just not today. He's, uh, he's not carrying the extra. Nice oh, oh, nice, nice pick shot. up. Okay, maybe there's a some, confidence builder right there. Now he'll love to throw the hammer. And again, please keep the comments coming on YouTube. I comment all the time back on uh, Facebook. Dave comments back on those. I do. I I do respond to everybody that emails me on Facebook. A Phil, whether screen. it's my personal page or the New Palace Lanes page or the King of the Palace page, 
Yep. I respond all the time. He's left to fight something for another mark, and he's oh, got it. Nice, nice. pickup. Finally. A little finally bit of a confidence builder. Yeah, finally an extra pick carry for him. Hopefully it's not too late. He's down 48 box to box. Let's see what happens. You know how this game goes. Anything's yep. possible. Yeah, if Steve, you know, just tails off a little bit. Oh, Phil will snap him. Oh. Yeah, but that one got away from him. Yeah. There's an MK. Uh, nope. No. Nope. Oh, no. One shot of an MK. Yep, yep. <laughs> Nine pin standing. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's still working. You know, his his ball comes, takes it back. Well, up to four and the nine. Hopefully, get, just want to get one out of two here. Hope for the ten. Did he did? Nice, nice shot. Nice shot, right? He, he makes some impressive shots. I will say that about Steve. Kind of a strange delivery, though, where, how he holds the ball. Then, I told you. It's, everybody's different. You're absolutely Bowling styles are like fingerprints. You'll never see two people bowl no, the exact correct. same way. You're absolutely correct. And they don't throw the ball the same nope. way. You'll see people throw similar. Yeah, or but ball still move, but never exactly the same way. It's, it's amazing. You think with all the people out there, there would be at least a couple of people that bowl the same? Nope. Yeah. Won't happen. No, nope. can't happen. It's oh, like it's a fingerprint. Exactly. Yeah. Got the full husband left with some wood. Let's see what happens. Oh, he yeah, takes it down. What a nice shot. All right, Phil needs to keep marking now. Four out of six boxes with marks with Steve Pinball. Talk about can up and bowl. Excellent. Okay. Bill Clough up here going after three in a row and wants to bang the hit. Oh, great oh, he's got a break. He got, he got a break, though. He's left, he dropped six. He's left the one, the two, the four, and the eight. He's got some wood. I don't know if this is any help, but it's going to split it. Let's see what happens. And oh, oh, a little too full. He's shooting the uh, two and a four. Not only the four pink, got a nine box. Box to box. Goes down 43 pins. This is a spare. He's opposite of spare, so he's got a lot of work. Four left. Yeah. Oh, All the head pin on this one. Look at this. Oh. Again with the 10 pin. pin. <laughs> yeah, but he's got, this is not very favorable. That one yeah. piece of wood. Gonna, the ball's gonna bounce. All depends on how he hits it. Oh, Dang, nice. he pushed it right back. Yeah. I think that time, Dennis, throwing the ball slow and help. If you threw the ball yeah. fast, it would bounce over. Bounce over. Yeah. Right. So after 60, Smigola at 86 working on the spear. Bill Buff at 75 working on the spear. Bill's like one of my favorite, most favorite bowlers ever. Oh, caught the head pin right side. Weak I've, weak I've been watching right? Phil for years. Shooting the four pin for a spear, and he's all over. He faced it. Hit Excellent it in the pin. face. Hit it in the face. I'm having trouble with my memory, David, you know? Smacked it in the face, punched it in the face. What's he got? One, two, three, five out of seven boxes. Max. Unbelievable game up and ball. First string, he had what? Seven max, right? Six. Six, yeah. Incredible. A wide left, but he's left the one, the two, the ten. Excuse me, the one, three, ten. Second to last match of season four. It's been a spectacular season between the scratch, the eighty percent, and the new tag team divisions. Oh, well, the tag team division is phenomenal. Phenomenal, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. That's a lot of fun. Absolutely phenomenal, David. I mean, David, take full credit. No one else would have come up with it. I would have never thought of it. The man who studies bowling all the time. It's I really game. didn't think of it. I just figured it'd be nice to add something yeah. to it. To know? David, even I, the one who's always constantly thinking, concentrating, Look at that nice nine fill. and focusing on Candlepin bowling. I, I would have never even crossed my mind. And but again, you did it. Keep keep posted for next season. Yeah. Twists and turns. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Did, Phil's looking up Somebody at better sky. call 911 because Phil, Phil just one. got robbed. Wow. Did you see that one, people? What possessed the ball wow. to go? I t I there's you, only the bowling, Dennis. It's, it's the it, bowling gods. It, it, it's only yeah. one. There's only one answer. It's Caleb Pinball. Yeah, Sorry, but Travis. It, yeah, but at, at, uh, at a point in time, you know, you have to like feel kind of bad because Phil's making some nice shots and just not dropping. Goes down. Wow. He's got 94 after seven. Head and right? quarter pin on the head and quarter one three pocket, and that's the disaster look, that look, he's left. Look at this. That can sum up Phil Clough's day four, to day. Four, five, seven, eight, ten. He had a qualifying score of 415. Where are you going with this one quickly, Dennis? He's down Way 51, right? I'm sorry. Way right, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wow, look at that. It should have gone, but it didn't. It 
just it's just not Phil's it's not day. in the cave today. That's too bad. Another rare world split for ten bucks. I think missing and that the seven last. Pin stays. That Unbelievable. Last, that last missing that one pin. Up. That but I will know this. Too. If I know anything about Mr. Phil Clough. Oh, he'll be back. He'll be back next season. And he'll be ready to tear apart the field. Well, uh, David, just getting back to what we were talking about earlier. Which, which, which is what? No, like only you would, no, no, of... only, only you would come up with the, the doubles. I only, you know what? More people came up to me, David, and said, we can't believe this, how well this went off and everything. To me, personally, it's the highlight of our bowling show. Well, you know what it was? Everything has, everything has a hitch. Every, yeah. You know, there's well, nothing, one, nothing runs very smoothly ever. That's right. And it's like Dennis <laughs> you know, said, always one part that issue. picks up the other part. That's an understatement. You know, the only yeah. thing I really did was I, I just, you know, I took concepts from everybody else that I, I see. So I'm kind of away in a copycat that yeah. aspect of it. But we put our unique spin on it. With title belts. Right. With title belts. Right. Which one of the Oh, look at this. He's all yeah. the way to Worcester. Yeah, I know. He's all the way to Welcome We haven't to had Worcester. one of these in a long time, huh? Worcester. That quick, what's he going to get for box? Eight. Five, six. Ooh, Ooh oh. did I call that one? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Where else people but candle pin bowling? Three chops in a row. Half was the left, half was the right. Plucked and then the he just pin. takes it to head pin. So that puts Steve at 135 for the string for a two string total of 275. Next okay. week. Steve Spingolo will move on against Ivan Geshwinder. This is going to be a pretty good match. For Ivan, the king of the hill. King of the palace. palace. I'm like Four seasons, tra Travis. Jeez. <laughs> no, Travis seasons, is, I know what Travis is looking at me. I, I, I'll I, take the hit. I'm sorry. I just get excited, David. That's all. <laughs> well, if he gets excited, you should know the name. I, I'll agree. At least, try to at least he's not giving out your personal phone number anymore. <laughs> oh, no doubt, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give a little Oh, that man. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> Call him any time. <laughs> you have no idea five, how five, many. Five. I had to change my phone number, Steve. Yeah, but you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> not some of the calls I was getting. No? Oh. Wow. Five, six, seven. I Only I would do something like that. Dude. I didn't do it on purpose. I completely, you know, plug yeah. my memory. He yeah. might be able to get this, though. If he plays, like, towards the red line of that right yeah. pin. Wow, nice bid. I wouldn't think of going that way. Just wasn't Phil Clough had a tough, yeah. tough outing. He's still both Because everybody, everybody, everybody knows. two strings, right? Yeah, everybody knows Phil Clough, though. This is not Phil Clough. Oh, well. well I want to give a shout-out to our sponsor, North End Master Subaru. Thank you very much for believing in what we do. After the second string, Steve Spagola, 135 for 275 two-string. Phil Clough with a 121 for a two-string total of 229. Max for uh, great, Steve Gold. Great yeah. bowling again by the returning champ. Really, really turned the tide. Time to get to the 11th box. Absolutely. Let's Go talk get him, to Dennis. our winner. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's winner. Yet again, running the ladder, the current king. Come at me, Steve Spingola. Uh, how, was, how do you feel about that match? Uh, 140, 135. Pretty good bowling. Uh, yeah, it felt great. My ball was on for most of it. I was getting some breaks, but um, it all came together in the end for me. Yeah, it looks like everything, you, you were just like magic out there. Phil was putting the ball where it's supposed to go and nothing was happening, and you capitalized. That's great way, to, great way to bowl. Yeah, it's tough. He didn't. He was on the head pin and wasn't getting anything to help him out, so I mean, it hurts for him, but you know, in the end, it helps me out a little bit. Exactly. Well, you got one more match to uh, retain your title and be the second king in history to ever retain the title twice in a row. Uh, the person standing in your way is the number one seed with a roll score of 418, Ivan Geshwinder. See everyone now.